Hey guys and welcome to my channel again and today I'm out in uh, Kananaskis country on a pretty rainy day it doesn't look too good for the weather but I finally made it for another dive uh, a couple of weeks ago we already had snow in here so the temperatures kind of went down since that time and uh, today I'm gonna just go for a solo dive uh, just here in uh, forget-me-not pond uh, that's just like 50 minutes away from my home uh, the closest dive location that I can uh, sneak out and do a dive so there's not much ready to see in here uh, but hopefully I'll find some fish because uh, I heard from other divers that uh, there's some fish uh, swimming around here now. Uh, I was here last time and I haven't spotted even one, but uh, let's hope maybe today. So let's jump into the water. But before that, I gotta assemble my scuba gear and uh, I'll be diving side mount as usual. Uh, that's my preferred way to go, even on a shallow uh, ponds like this one here, which is probably like maximum depth uh, would be about 18 feet and uh, so I'm gonna assemble my gear and uh, probably in the next video I will talk more about the gear uh, that I'm wearing. I, last time I made a video about side mount and my preferences on side mount so I can link it right here so um, and this time I want to talk all about my individual scuba gear that I'm using uh, for the winter diving here in Canada so I'm wearing a Santi dry suit with a Santi undergarment. We'll talk more about that later. And so the scuba tanks that I'm using, are those are Luxfer uh, aluminum 80s. So it is only four degrees today, uh, in a f uh, right now, and we do have snow in the forecast for later on and usually in uh, winter or pretty much throughout the year I dive uh, mostly nitrox that's my preferred gas and uh, today I have a nitrox 32% uh, so the tanks are ready and uh, my go-to regulators are Apex XTX50. I've been using them for numbers of years now and uh, they perform extremely well under ice and in all weather. I'll talk more about them as well later once I'll be going my, uh, doing my uh, scuba gear review. My harness uh, for my side mount, it's an X-Deep uh, Stealth. It comes with the separate harness and then I get the bladder that goes over that. And what I like about that harness, that it has weight, uh, integrated weight pockets right on the spine. But in addition, and since I'm diving cold water, I have uh, some weights here and also in uh, pouches uh, under my uh, armpits. So as you see, X-Deep, it's a very streamlined uh, piece of uh, scuba equipment. Uh, that harness, uh, I just love it. It fits uh, nice and snug and uh, there's nothing really bulky about it. And uh, as the back piece that I just put on, it looks like this, it's a separate piece. You got your dump valve right there. And of course, uh, your inflator hose. Uh, so there's not much to talk about it. They're very durable and uh, they are being used for a cave diving and uh, many other uh, technical diving. Uh, right now they have a newer models of course, uh, but I think that uh, it's kind of a different design. The bladder is all attached together. So it is time to get into the water. So I'll hold one tank at a time and then I get my dive computers on and uh, I'll go for a dive probably about an hour or so. I have uh, more than three quarters uh, air in each tank because I already did the dive uh, a couple months ago but I figured there's still enough for that shallow pond to do another dive. One of my favorite places to go for an afternoon drive with family, forget-me-not pond, is actually a man-made lake 
at the far end of Elbow Falls Trail, Highway 66, very roughly an hour drive from home. It is surrounded by beautiful scenery, makes it a very pleasant stroll on a flat ground around the edge of the lake. The emerald water is so clear. Unfortunately, they closed the winter gate across the road by Elbow Falls on December 1st, so you cannot continue as far as this pond for about six months. This pond makes a perfect dive location for divers of all levels as it is very shallow, 14 feet max, usually with very clear water with excellent visibility, most of the time, but not this day. There is not much going on under the surface. Bottom is covered with thick layer of silt. You can spot sometimes a few fish. There is a square structure made out of a concrete blocks and patches of underwater grass or vegetation. While you're diving, you can spot bubbles coming from the bottom. If you decide to dive in this location, be prepared that the water is extremely cold and the temperature varies between 2 and 4 degrees year round. And in winter, obviously, the pond freezes. So it is recommended to dive with the dry suit. It is a perfect location to practice your scuba diving skills. This is what I usually do when I go to dive there. It makes it more challenging to obtain the buoyancy at this depth. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment below and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice and join me next week in the new video as I will be talking more in detail about the scuba gear I use. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.